Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you're doing well today. The dogwood tree looks gorgeous over there, doesn't it? This year they are really red, and I can I think I can see all the berries on it from here. Thank you, Lord, for your beauty. And the butterfly bush, it's unfortunate we're in the shade at the moment, but it does have some blossoms on it. We're just going to walk this morning. We're going to do Psalm 71. And this is from one of David's last ones. Is an old elderly person who's battle-worn and has had quite the life. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, my sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You, so, you brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I am, when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone, for my enemies speak against me. Those who wait to kill me conspire together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and seize him, for no one will rescue him. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God, to help me. May, may, may my accusers perish in shame. Those who want to harm, harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long though I know not how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, Sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens, you who have done great things. Who is like you, God? Though you have made me tr have troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth, you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort me once more. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I will sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel, my lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you, I whom, have, I whom you have delivered. My tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long, for those who wanted to have harm me have been put to shame and confusion. Lord, we thank you for your precious words here. I am sorry for all the background noise it's almost comical, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, that's God's creations there. And once I got to this point with the flower, I just, I just paused to read. So I just will take a walk back here to the field. And I saw the purple, the, um, I don't know, maroon, purple, bright purple, lavender cosmos were blooming their hearts out yesterday pretty good even though we've had some cold nights so we'll see take one last look at them and you can see all the work i have to do as usual i'm hoping that the stilt grass is going to soon be behind me and i can get out here and start working more diligently to get it ready for the fall and winter i put a lot of transplants out here just little little old babies that probably didn't have a chance, but um, maybe they'll make it. Let's see how the cosmos looked this morning. 
Oh, they look kind of puny this morning. They looked pretty good yesterday. Uh, I guess the cool's gotten to them. But they are shining bright despite it all. And this field maybe one day will have some pretty blooms in it, different colors. That's our goal and our hope anyway. So, and you'll have to uh, say a little prayer for this little bird. I was looking at the, the little flowers up by the deck, just talking to them, <laughs> encouraging them. And the movement caught my eye. A little bird hopped, didn't really hop out, it moved. So I didn't know if it was just too cold, so I took my, I always clean everything up. I had some napkins and stuff uh, that were clean. So I wrapped it up thinking maybe it's cold. That's about the only thing you can do for them when they're, when they're um, kind of down. I, d I don't know what's wrong with it. It's very concerning. I don't think it's going to make it. I didn't want to disturb it too much, so I, I um, left it wrapped up, and it can get out, you know, once it warms up. And there's a rhododendron bloom. How about that? Whoops, sorry. Um, so I don't think it's going to make it, and it's a little goldfinch, and those were the ones that had the pandemic themselves when we had a pandemic, and we lost so many pine siskins and, and finches of all sorts, and we had to stop feeding the birds. And since then is when I've started cleaning the bird feeders and bird baths every day. So I'm afraid that something like that is taking place. And, but it could be anything at all. Its eyes look good, so their goldfinches are bad for conjunctivitis. And they can't see and they fly into things and it's a horrible, horrible thing. And that is contagious as well, but its eyes look good. So, poor little fellow, we're going to hope that it's okay, but I really don't think that it's going to make it. And there's some little yellow cosmos. They're shining brightly, aren't they? We're supposed to have some warmer weather this week again, so things that are hanging on to the cold spell might make it, um, may, might make it to bloom again. Don't know, but here's a little yellow ones and this is where I saw the little bird but I won't show you where I've got it um, I'm sure it's not going to make it but anyway will you guys take care and seek your blessings thank God for them and we will see what tomorrow brings love you my friends in Christ Amen